Well, all right, here we are once again. You see my face and you know what day it is. You know what time it is. I'm Pastor Bobby D. Hammond from the Friendship Church. And it is Move Monday. It's our day we set aside to, to, to be about the business of moving. And you know it's about moving our bodies. It's not about condemnation, not about shame, not, a, not about shade. It's all about encouragement, encouraging us to, to really take the energy and effort to move our bodies, to be involved in some type of physical activity that we can actually breathe, that we can sweat, that we can strain and groan and moan, but to move our bodies. This is the day the Lord has made and we're glad about it. We want to prove we're glad about it by putting some effort into taking care of these temples. Now today on my Move Monday, I want to talk about moving up our move. Let me say that again, moving up our move. Because I've heard from many of you. You've told me, Pastor Hamilton, I am moving. You've told me what you're doing. You've told me about your wind sprints. And you've told me about your walking every morning before sunrise. And you told, told me about your HIIT workouts, the high-intensity workouts that you're doing. You told me about your yoga mats and how you're using your yoga mat. You've told me about you pull your bicycles out and you're riding your bicycles again. And you've told me a myriad of things you're doing to move. But today I want to challenge you to move up your move. You've been doing that same one mile for 15 years. You've been doing that same circle in your track in your neighborhood for 15 months. You've been doing that same five calf raises, that same five push-ups for the past five weeks. I want to encourage you to move up your move. So if you're online right now, I want to ask you, what are you doing to move up your move? Isn't it time for you to now go to the next level? Isn't it time for you to challenge yourself to go a little bit further? Isn't it time for you to decide, instead of making one pass around the vending machine at work, I'm going to make two passes around the vending machine at work. Isn't it time for you to move up your mood? Some of you are coming home from work at the end of the day, and you've decided, I'm going to put on my ASIC tennis shoes that I bought, I'm going to put on my new Nikes that I ordered online from Amazon, and I'm going to walk around the neighborhood. Great, great, great. But why? Why only make one lap? Can't you make two laps? Can't you move up your move? Oh, yes, you can. Many of you are watching me online. You've been celebrating it, Pastor. I've been doing things, and I'm glad you've been doing things. But I want to encourage you today to do more than just those things and do things, multiple things, and move up your move. Oh, you can do it. You never thought you'd be doing what you're doing right now. So I know, I, unequivocally, I know without a shadow of a doubt, you can move up your move. Isn't it time? Listen, it's imperative that you not only eat right. I'm glad you're eating right. It's imperative that you not only take in the right liquids into your body, the fluids. I'm glad your fluid levels intake has changed. But also it's about moving your, out here where I come at on Mondays to move, I see a, just a plethora of people who are doing all kind of things. You see some approaching me now. There are older people. There are younger people. There are people who you would have thought would just be quarantined inside their homes because of the pandemic, but they're not. Guess what they're doing? They're out there moving. And I'm so excited just to see the, the, the array of things that you can do to actually move. Don't just watch people move online. Don't just videotape, videotape people moving. Don't just go around and just, and just on your phone, take notes of people moving. No, be a part of that. And for those, you know who you you are, I want to encourage you to move up your move. Sorry, now, I'm having trouble hearing you. Now, I've been talking about the importance of us also being a people who are what? Of being a people who are also, I preached yesterday the message, go to YouTube, the message I preached yesterday about God is not forgotten. And I want to encourage you today to know that God has not forgotten you. I preached that passage out of Mark 10, 28 through 31. And with Jesus' disciples are more or less asking Jesus, What's in it for us? In other words, when you going what are you going to do for us? When are you going to take care of us? And they felt like they, the Lord had forgotten about them. And if you're honest about it, don't you feel that way sometimes yourself? That God has somehow forgotten about you. That God is blessing everybody on the block except you who are on the block and in desperate need. So I want to encourage you today. Go back to YouTube. Look at it again and tell that God has not forgotten how God has blessed you and put you in a spiritual family. How God has tremendously blessed you and he's put hope in your heart. How God has blessed you and promised that I will, I will reward you for your faithfulness. Today, some of you are on the sideline of service because you felt like that all in your giving and all you're doing and all your ministry and all that, that it hadn't come to fruition the way you thought. 
but God has blessed everybody else. You thought you'd get the pastorate, somebody else got the pastorate. You thought that you'd get the ministry position, somebody else got the ministry position. You thought that by now you would have your 40 acres in a mule, somebody else got 40 acres in a mule. And you felt like that somehow God has blessed everybody else. When you look at your relationship, you're still single. Look at your relationship, you still don't have a child. Look at your relationship, the child you had don't act like the child. And, and all those things, you prayed till you can't pray no more. You cried till you ran out of tears. Is, and you have labored and yet it feels like your labor has turned into be nothing but a loss and you feel like God has forgotten. God has not forgotten about you. He's not forgotten about you at all. Go back. He encouraged those disciples to run on a little while longer. I will take care of you. And today I want to tell you today on this move Monday, run on a little while longer. God will take care of you. Oh, you need to pass this word on to somebody else. Tell somebody else, move up your move and, and tell somebody else, God is not forgotten. Go to YouTube and pick it up. And on Wednesday night, I'm going to bring it back together again. We're going to talk about it again. We're going to chop it up again because I want you to get in your spirit that you can work while it's day because night's coming and no man can work. But also on this day, it stormed all night in this area but guess what today the sun has risen again and that's the way it is in this life it storms sometimes but if you keep the faith if you keep your focus if you keep your 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 hand in the Lord's hand and when you can't hold his hand he'll hold your hand the sun shall shine again oh I thank God for you I thank God for this opportunity to move just one more day now move up your move and get busy get busy go do what God put on your heart to do the best is yet to come your best days are not behind you they're in front of you but you got to have the faith to go after it go after it get busy get moving and stay moving because the god who we serve has given you the grace to have one more day oh you ought to be shouting right now you ought to celebrate the day right now if you can just go in somewhere in a small cubicle of the office and just give god praise because you have this day a day to be better than you were yesterday because the God that we serve has empowered you to move and to move on his behalf. You've not forgotten and I have not forgotten. So get on out. You see these people passing me right now. Oh my goodness. They are passing me again. They've just lapped me as a matter of fact, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, I will bounce back. So may God bless you. May God keep you. May you have a great day. As you remember, it's move Monday and God has not forgotten. See you down the road.